Mercy Village Church, I pray you're having a wonderful day and that you're about to have a wonderful weekend. Um, on Sunday, we talked about walking in intimacy with Jesus, to experience the real presence of Jesus beyond just that kind of um, Bible study idea, although Bible study is essential to that, for that reality. It's not the whole story. It's not just the mind. It's the mind and the body and the soul. And so I promised a list of resources that would help guide us and teach us and uh, walk with us as we pursue intimacy with Jesus, some, some things that might be helpful. And so I'm going to link with this video to a page on our website now that includes links to podcasts, uh, mobile apps, and books as of right now. That's what's included all of which come at this issue from different places or are helpful resources as you walk through these things. I'm not going to explain them all. They're all on the, on the website, so you'll, you'll see them. Um, this is on our web uh, site now, and so we'll expand it over time. I'd like to add some, uh, some resources for reading the Bible in ways that is uh, listening, not just for our minds, but for our souls as well and so that'll be in the future and i'll update everyone as as we do um, i want to thank ryan angus um, and i and i know that he would thank other people too who have turned him on to some great resources in this area i lean heavily on him he's um if you haven't met him he's sung for us a few times at our church that's one way you might know him obviously his story's bigger than that but uh, that might be one easy way for you to recognize who he is um, and then the folks at Harbor Network. Uh, Harbor Network has been a gift to us as a church, has been a gift to, to my uh, wife and myself and my family. Um, but one of the ways it's been a gift is, is helping me um, walk more closely with Jesus. And so I leaned heavily into some folks from Harbor Network as well. So um, this isn't just my own list. I just say that because, you know, some of these things I'm trusting others because I haven't read them or, or used them. So uh, don't let me down, people. Uh, just kidding. Um, and then lastly, a word of encouragement. Um, some of these resources are outside of your faith tradition. I know that because we come from a lot of different faith traditions at Mercy Village Church in the sense of like, um, there's some folks who are um, have a Catholic in their background. There are folks who have Anglican in their background, Presbyterian in their background, Methodist in their background, um, atheism in their background, right? So we come at this from all different places. As a church, our, our stories of our faith journey come from different traditions. And these resources are widely sourced from different traditions. And so... I just know from my experience being brought up more of a Baptistic um, and then Reformed kind of tradition um, that it's easy to, uh, that I've heard leaders ridicule, uh, bemoan, cast off resources that come from outside of um, our quote unquote tribe. And so if that's been your experience, that, that that's kind of been Oh, ingrained in your system that you can't read outside of your quote-unquote uh, Christian tribe, then I'm encouraging you to expand. Um, it, and, it, and it doesn't mean that we have to agree with every point of doctrine of every author we read. In fact, that would limit you so greatly in what you're able to read and learn from. And so these resources are vetted by people that I trust or by myself that they are helpful um, again, it's not a wholesale signing off of every single thing that each of these authors has ever taught or said. I hope that's obvious. I, hope, I, I, I think it's silly maybe that I even have to say that, but um, maybe I'm just being overly cautious. But that's, that's good. I'm not signing, we're not signing off on everything that these people believe. But what they've written about prayer, what they've written about reading the Bible, what they've written about uh, spiritual formation, what they've written about... Um, practices and disciplines of walking with Jesus is gold. And so um, we give you this list. I hope that it's a huge resource to you as you walk with Jesus. Um, if you have any questions about anything along the way, say you pick up a book and you're inspired and you want to talk about it, or you have questions and you want um, 
to know more um, if you want to just talk about how I'm walking through some of the using some of these resources in my life and talk about how you can use some of them in yours just reach out I'd love to have this conversation I think this is an outrageously valuable um, thing for us to focus on uh, in the in our lives that we will walk closely with Jesus what else is there um, so love you guys if you have any questions any thoughts um, or just want to talk about any of the these things let me know and I hope this resource serves you well love you guys